Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the new version of React OS, version 0.4.11. Let's get started. All right, as you can see, uh, we've got VirtualBox fired up. I've got the base built for React OS, and we'll take a look at some of the settings real quick before we launch into the install. So the new version of React OS, they're targeting Windows Server 2003, and so that's what we select for the type of VM. Uh, on system, I've disabled the floppy drive. I've given it two gigs of RAM, two processor cores. On video memory, I'm actually going to jump that up to, let's jump that up to 64 meg. It's using the VM SVGA graphics controller with 3D acceleration enabled. I've got the ISO image in the virtual optical drive and a 30 gig virtual hard drive. The Ethernet controller I've got set to PCNet Fast 3. I did have some trouble with other Ethernet adapter types, so this one worked for me. And everything else I left the same. Let's launch into our installer. Reminiscent of the old Windows installer, we're going to enter English. Enter to install or upgrade React OS. Enter to continue setup. Accept device settings. Enter again. We're going to use the unpartitioned space. And we're going to format it with butter FS and do a quick format. Press enter to continue. And it's just specifying where we want React OS to be installed. And it's going to start copying files. So while this is doing its thing, take a look at the release notes. They've made improvements on the kernel. And they have a couple paragraphs about that. Application start stop. When an application is run, it often depends upon other libraries in the form of DLLs. And they talk about the library loader, things of that nature. You set up improvements, which is a setup procedure. The Win32 subsystem. And networking has been improved. Stability and testing, third-party syncs, and you can find all this information at reactos.org slash project hyphen news slash reactos dash 4 dash released, and you can go over this in a little bit more detail. Uh, we are at the point it's asking us Install bootloader on the hard disk, and yes, we want to do that. Hit enter. Computer will restart, and it's prompting us to remove the optical drive and whatnot. Okay, this is what I was looking for. We'll hit enter to go into React OS. Setup wizard and 
as you do in Windows, you click Next a whole bunch of times. And we'll just leave that as Owner for the time being. Setting an administrator password. Defaults to Pacific Time, and I'm in Eastern, and that looks right. Next, I'll do the dark theme, because why not? Next, typical work group. And it'll restart again. And we have our desktop. All right, so if you've used old versions of Windows, this should mostly look familiar. And I'm going to check our network and make sure we do have a connection. It is showing only 10 megabit, however. But uh, for a VM and just for playing around with this, that's all right. So let's check out the application manager. So from here, there's all kinds of things you can install. So say we want to go into games and we'll grab, I don't know, we will grab uh, the Mahjong game. And what else do we want under internet? We've got a bunch of different stuff we could grab. Old, old version of Firefox, version 48. Wow. We'll grab Putty. We'll grab Samba and Samba TNG. And we'll call that good for now. And we will click on install. Now we'll go ahead and close our application manager. One thing I do want to try out, check out network neighborhood. And currently it's not showing up anything here. And yeah, I was having problems when I did my previous install of this. I could not get this to connect to my network attached storage. It can ping it, but Windows networking as implemented by React OS does not seem to be getting me there. So let's see if We 
we have an option for there doesn't seem to be a Samba option in here after we've installed it. That's something I'm going to have to look into a little more closely. I'm not sure why that's not letting me connect. But that's all right. This is, again, still not really ready for prime time. Um, make this a little larger. Uh, no, let's go. Okay, fine. We'll do 1280 by 1024. That's at least a little more realistically usable. Again, if you've used old versions of Windows, you should find many of these settings familiar. There we go. Okay. I'll bring it down so we can see the start menu. So this is a very simple re-implementation of Windows. It's got a lot of things available that you would expect to see. But there are also things that just aren't there yet. So see if our little Mahjong game wants to work. And could not initialize direct 3D. So no dice on that. All right. So this wraps up our look at the newest version of React OS. As we've seen, there are still some rough edges. I'm still not having any luck with networking. Uh, other than very basic type networking. So I was really hoping that this release would see things working a little more closely to what you would expect. But basic things like connecting to file servers just doesn't seem to work. And even the My Network Places is not does not seem to be functional. Now, let's take one more look at something in control panel. Yep, so the work group is work group, which I believe I still have my network attached storage box assigned to. So somewhere along the line, something's not operating quite right. If I am able to get to the bottom of this, I will make a follow-up video. No promises on that, though. Because um, something this limited, I'm not sure I'm going to spend a whole lot of time on. These new releases are interesting to me, however, because every, every major release they make, even though it's still... I'd say alpha quality, every release they make gets a little bit closer. And maybe one day they will get to something that is a usable Windows replacement. Even if it's just for legacy applications that would otherwise be running on an old version of Windows which has no support or security updates anymore. So, not terribly useful right now, other than as something to play with. But I'm optimistic in the future that, you know, at least for running legacy applications, they will make this something that can be used instead of using an old uh, legacy version of Windows that is no longer supported. On that note, this is Jeremy signing off for Practical IT. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up.
subscribe and click the bell icon for future videos. If you have comments or questions, please leave them in the section below and I will do my best to respond to each one. Until next time, have a great day.